In this video, we're going to talk about a big money option trade that just happened in the options market. I call it Big Money Monday. We see this big, big, big money coming into this specific stock, and they are buying calls. And again, when someone buys calls, what are they looking to do? They're looking for prices to go higher. So this is going to be an interesting setup. It was about $4 million put on the line here, and it controls about $40 million worth of stock. And they have only until January for this trade to work out, and we'll walk through it and show you that exactly. So before we get started, my name is Joshua Bellinger of CounterVest. Make sure you head over to CounterVest and put in your email to get our daily emails and my weekly watch list. You don't want to miss that and other videos I don't release here on YouTube. But if you're on YouTube here, make sure you like the video below, or if you don't like it, who cares, one or the other, and subscribe and hit the bell as well so you'll be notified when these urgent opportunities knock at your door. So let's take a look here at Equifax. Well, I mean, there's a lot we could talk about Equifax, right? I mean, if you remember the, the scandal, the biggest breach that's ever happened of private information happened with Equifax. Now, if I said at that time, hey, you should buy the dip here, uh, most people would laugh. But uh, criminally, they were able to finagle the government to allow them to pitch their services as a bonus for an auto subscribe or auto renewal service. So you were able to get you know, a certain amount of months free or a year free, but on the terms of providing a credit card so they can rebuild an auto renewal. I mean, this, hey, funny, funny times, right? We live in silly times. But right now, Equifax, besides all that, just off of all time highs here. We're looking at a weekly chart. 279, get a little bit of a pullback. I mean, what what can happen here? Who knows? I mean, I would have never thought Equifax would be moving this high and hit these levels after you know hitting $88 back here. I mean, crazy times. But uh, what we're looking at here, Big Money Monday, as I said, what the trade I'm going to highlight is this January expiration here, 116 days. So we start to put this together. This is the interesting aspect of options and positioning in the options market because you can position in the options market for a move to come hours, minutes, and sometimes even weeks ahead. So we got a little bit of a pullback here, but wow, this stands out here. Today's activity on this one was uh, an 1,800% increase in the last 22 trading days. So that, that's a month's time, and that average, what we see today, was uh, 1,800% increase. And that's because of this big, big positioning right here. So they came in here and now this is a trade. When when we look at this trade, this is not something that an institution, this is an institution, first of all, we look at the bid and ask. I mean, those are, that's some pretty big money there. And the trade that I see on my screen, on the other screen here is a buy of 3,062 contracts. So we'll take a look here and bring up the top orders. Now, Josh, why does my system show differently than a block? Well, because what we're taking a look at is an algorithm that crunches and uh, predicts that a trade was put on by the same person. And what happens is it typically executes on multiple exchanges. So it's multiple exchanges and they group it together within milliseconds. And it's a predictive way of indicating that this was one buyer. So what that information looks up to be about 3,062 contracts were traded. Now, this was something that was executed not at one time. This was called through a broker. It's not someone putting an execution through a platform like I, you know, there are retail platforms here. But they bought it at an average of $12.46. So that would indicate at this point about a $3.8 million in premium bought. And again, if someone's buying calls, they are looking for it to go higher. Not to the moon, just higher. They're looking for it to go higher. Uh, so when we look at this expected move here, the expected move is $34 at this point in the next 116 days. So that's going to put us roughly around uh, to 230, if not to 300. So if we look at 300 here, you, know, you see that the delta there is about 22. That's where that probability plays out to be. And we can start to build a structure or a thesis around this. Now, obviously following the money here, that's part of it why they're bullish. Uh, we can go into some fundamentals, uh, but right now that's, that's on you. 
we're going to just talk about where money's flowing. Money's flowing in here. Why? Because they think prices are going to go higher for whatever reason that could be. Now, it could be an instance where they um, are reducing risk that they have with equity and using the options market to uh, play that. But again, this is a $3.8 million bet. And this is a position that, you know, they're, they're, looking, they're looking for this to go higher. If not, that's the risk that they have on here. There's different ways to play. You could buy a call and sell something higher. That would be the way that I would look at it, especially being that this was $12. But the notional value on this is at this time about uh, $39 million. So what we do here is we take the volume times the delta to get that notional value. Volume, delta, so volume times the delta, and then times that by closing price or whatever that current price is. And that would create a notional value of if you had the shares of what that's equivalent to with the options at the leverage, that's what it's controlling. That's called notional value. So that's what we're looking at on there. And this is the big money. This is a big institution putting this money down for whatever reason it is. Uh, who knows? We only know after the fact if it goes higher and it's profitable, hey, someone knew something or it doesn't work out. But again, these individuals participating in the marketplace only make money and their game is to make money. So it's not something they're just, you know, just throwing dollar bills at. Just for, uh, just for fun, this is where big money is. Keep an eye on this one as well for more flow, more money coming into this as well. So this is interesting. We haven't seen something like this. And, you know, this is the beginning parts of a positioning, uh, of a position that they're establishing. We could see more. Or this is the position that they have here. And they're just making their bet for prices to go higher in the next 116 days. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, good trading.